1.4 modeling points, lines, and planes. We're going to skip these questions one through eight, and we're going to come back to those at the end of the lesson. Geometric figures are made up of points, lines, and planes. Points, lines, and planes are what's called undefined. The definition of a point is that it has no size, only location. The picture for a point is a single point, and we usually label it with an uppercase letter. A single letter. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Uppercase letter, a single letter. Now the definition of a line is a straight line, straight continuous, arrangement, of infinitely many points. So we can start the picture by doing points in an arrangement of a straight line, but there's infinitely many points in between those and you connect them. And the way that you announce to the world that this is a continuous line is you continue it on, you continue it on with arrows in both directions. Now, a general line is defined by at least two points. We'll call it A and B. And then when we're naming this for notation, there are three different ways that you can talk about this line. The first way is just to call it line AB. You could call it line BA but line AB is one way to name this. A second way is to use the uppercase letters AB and then put the symbol for a line on the top of it. You could go the other direction, BA with the line symbol on the top. And then finally, sometimes they will put a cursive letter at the end of the line, like this one, a, a, um, cursive L, and they would call this line L. You can use only one single letter if it's a cursive letter that represents the whole line. A plane. A plane has two dimensions, whoops, has two dimensions, but no thickness. So for example, you can have something that looks like a piece of paper. The plane is defined by its vertices, in this case, A, B, C, and D. Or it can be an oblong plane. It doesn't have to have vertices. But if it is an oblong plane, a potato-shaped plane, it has to have three letters, M, N, and O. So the way that you name this is with three letters always. You choose three letters in the plane. Uh, you need at least three points to define a plane. So we can call this plane, let's name this one. You could name this one plane A, B, C. And then if we wanna name this one, we can say plane O, N, M. You need to use three letters. And then kind of working backwards, a line is two letters. So it moves up with grandness. So one letter, one point, two letters make a line, three letters make a plane. Continuing on with our definitions. Collinear, two points or more points, two or more points on the same line. So for example, M, N, N, Q. 
N and Q are collinear. Coplanar. It's two or more points. Oh, I didn't put points on this one. Two points on the same line. Um, two points or lines on the same plane. So first you need a plane. So I'm gonna draw a rectangular plane. And in this case, I could put two lines that are collinear, or I'm sorry, coplanar. So I'll call this line L, ooh, that's a little L, and this line P. So line L and line P are coplanar. Intersect, two or more lines or planes that have a common point. An intersection is the common point or points where the two lines, planes, or I'm sorry, li points, lines, and or planes intersect. So I'll kind of do the pictures together. So let's just do the traditional one. If you've got two lines that intersect, we'll call this point T. So the intersection is point T. Parallel. Parallel lines are two or more lines that never intersect and are on the same plane. So for example, these two lines, they look parallel to each other, but the way that you announce to the world that these two are parallel is that you use arrows that face the same direction. So even if I drew those not quite parallel, I have announced to the world that they are now parallel. So anytime you make parallel lines, make sure that you use the arrows you will get marked off on a, a test or a quiz for not putting your arrows. Skew. Skew are two or more lines or planes that never intersect, not parallel, and not on the same plane. They never intersect they are not parallel, and they are not on the same plane. So we need a three-dimensional picture, so we have several planes, so I'm gonna draw a cube. And the two lines that would be skew, a good example, there are several in a cubed picture, but could be this first edge and this edge. They are not parallel and they are not intersecting and they are not in the same plane. The last definition here is what's called traceable. Traceable has to do with something called a network where you have vertices and you're drawing a network. So I'm actually gonna start with a picture. So if I draw 
a square. And then I'm going to continue this network by drawing two curved lines in the middle. This is what's called a network. And what we're talking about with traceable is, can you draw this picture without going over one of the vertices twice? So can you draw this square and these middle lines without going over it twice? And the answer would be yes. Watch my pen. If you go th through your middle ones first, then you go all the way around the edge of the square, you have not passed any vertice more than one time. How you know a network is traceable is if all its vertices are even. So over here, um, the vertices um, need to be even in the sense that there are how many lines coming out of each vertice. So out of this line, there are two. Or I'm sorry, out of this vertice, there are two. Out of this vertice, there are two. Now count carefully on this one. There's one, two, three, four, two, two, and four. So all of its vertices are even, so this is traceable. Now the counter to this, how do you know if it's something is not traceable? Not traceable. Is if you have two or more, that's an R, two or more odd vertices. An example of this it would be the same box, but if you tried to do X's in the middle, you would have intersections that were, um, the vertices are going to be all odd. So three, 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 and three. And then in the middle here, you do have four, but you have two or more odd vertices. So this is not traceable. So now pause this video and try these eight questions. What is the intersection of YR and QR? Point R. Which lines are parallel to ZS? YR, WP, and XQ. Name all the lines skew to WX. YR, PS, ZS, QR. I am shorthanding a little bit and the directions have shorthanded as well. Really this list line means segment. Technically these continue on if you could continue on, but these are really segments since they're inside of the plane, just to clarify. What is the intersection of WX and plane QRY? Point X. What is the intersection of plane PSZ and plane QRS? PS. What plane is parallel to plane ZRY? Plane WXQ. Which two planes inter intersection is ZS? Plane ZSR and plane ZSP. Name a line through Q that is skew to WZ. QP and QX or QX. Thank you.